Hi kids, welcome again to another wonderful English reading. I'm Laura from the library and today we are going to read this story. Yes, Crocodile from the author Kim Norman. I hope and you like it. Remember that it's important to stay home, to take care of yourself and your family. Let's begin with this beautiful story, Crocodile. Down in the pond by a mossy mossy rock something sliders past the dock Mew start with starlet jerks this is where the crocodile lurks saved behind the rock I see a sly old crocodile that smile at me I stepped in front, captain of the crocodile hunt. Crocodile, crocodile, swim away fast. This day's swim could be your last. Out on the dock, I look below, where that slippery crocodile go. There is his shadow, dark and wet. I'm gonna tame the crocodile jet. Tossing off my hat and pack. Ha! I leap on crocodile's back. Crocodile, crocodile, what you gonna do? Crocodile, hunter is riding on you. Water sprays like crystal whips. Crocodile rumbles bubbly lips. Now he turns his head and winks. Slowly, slowly, Crocodile sings. Water rises ripple blue. Shields my laughing belly too. Even though he's still not tame, holding tight, I shout his name. Crocodile, crocodile, can't get away. I'm on top, I'm here, I'll stay. Round my knees, the water shines, A splashing, trashing, crocodile turns, whips of waves that slap that shore, then lets out a crocodile, yes, a crocodile roar, yes, such a roar that oops, oh no, a splash. I sleep and in I go. A spitting water, now I see. Hunting crocs is hard on me. Again and again. Crocodile, crocodile. Just you wait, you are gonna bite. A different bait. Let's just give it one more time. This time when he sliders by, I discover something new. Crocodile knees are ticklish too. That's how you tame a crocodile pet. You don't need a rope and you don't need a net. You just need a hug. You don't need a rope. You don't need a net. You only need a hug. The end. Very good kids, we finished with this story, Crocodile. 
from the author Kim Norman. Remember that it's important to read, so if you have a book at home, just give you the time and read it. You can read one book by day or by week. Thank you so much for paying attention and I will see you the next time. Bye! Kids, another important thing I want to mention is that you have reading comprehension activities like this with you. Please take a moment to do these activities and learn more about the story. Check the activity number below and answer it in your copies. Bye!